AFR Talk. You're listening to Focal Point with Brian Fisher. Focal Point with Brian Fisher. Hi, welcome back to Focal Point AAFR Talk. I uh, got a text from Deb indicating that the audio on the Kirsten Power sound bites is a little bit difficult to understand. So what Kirsten Power said in that first clip is that she is still pretty secular, actually. Even though she's a Christian, she identifies herself as somebody who is secular. She said that the defining document of America is not the Bible, but the Constitution. And she said at the end of that soundbite, we do not need more religion in the public square. Now, here's clip two from that interview. Now, listen carefully. The audio may be tough to pick up. I want to give you a sneak preview of what she says. She says that before she came to faith in Christ, she was contemptuous of Christianity. She thought Christians were odd people. She thought they were anti-intellectual. And then she met Francis Collins. Francis Collins is an evangelical Christian who was the guy that mapped the human genome one of the outstanding scientific accomplishments of the 20th century, one of the most brilliant scientists alive today. And she just hadn't been exposed to any, uh, any of that because she lived in this tiny little uh, bubble. And it was when her life expanded that she began to change her view about Christianity, about Christians. She ran into believers who were brilliant, who were accomplished, who were intellectual. She didn't even know they were out there because she'd lived such a sheltered existence. So let's listen. Clip number two, Kirsten Powers. And I think I was pretty contemptuous of people who were believers. Mm. You know, I don't know that I ever showed that. I think I, I kept, I knew, I knew enough to keep it to myself. Mm. But uh, I definitely, I would, you know, thought it was very odd and um, anti-intellectual and, you know. Then you, then we meet Francis Collins. Right, yeah. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> Mapping the human genome and being a believer. Yeah, no, but I had never been exposed to any of that. So, I mean, that's a lot of... So much of how I've changed just because my life expanded. Uh, I went from being in a world that was extremely secular and non-believing, um, and even people who were sort of said they were believers, it wasn't really something that they talked about very much. And then I suddenly was in this world where I was meeting all these people who were very strong believers and very central to their life and also brilliant, you know, and accomplished and intellectual and all these things that I always had sort of thought didn't go with faith. That's Kirsten Powers. She thought Christians were odd. She was contemptuous of them. She thought that we were anti-intellectual. And still she got out of her bubble until her world expanded and she began to actually meet Christians. She'd never been around us before, never been around Christians before. And, and you know, the point I want to make from all of this is what Kirsten Powers is admitting here is that it is liberals that live a sheltered existence. It's not conservatives. I mean, the meme out there is that conservatives live in this sheltered, huddled kind of existence where they withdraw from the world. Uh, we're, we're all some version of the Amish in one way or another. We live these cramped, tiny little sheltered existences. And Kirsten Powers is saying, look, it wasn't until my world as a liberal expanded that I came, that I even considered the claims of Christianity. Here's clip number three where she expands on that. She says, look, when I was a liberal, I never came in contact with Christians or with conservatives. I lived a very segregated existence, uh, and the only time I ever came in contact with anybody who was a politician of faith was when I ran a campaign for an African-American candidate. Let's listen. But I just somehow didn't really ever come in con I don't know. It's, it's interesting how sort of segregated. And I guess if you worked in Republican politics, you would be around it, you know, whether you were a believer or not. You know, you, would, you just would naturally come in contact with it. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, the only time I ever really came in contact with it, it was, you know, around, I worked for an African-American candidate. She was a very strong believer, you know, and, and that would be, that was somehow more, that was acceptable, you know, that well, you know, I, it was sort of almost seen as a cultural thing, even though I think she really was a sincere believer. So, uh, she says the ones living the sheltered existence, uh, it's liberals. You know, we had that judge that said uh, you got to send your daughter to public school. So I forget what the word, the exact phrasing she uses, but she's too sheltered. She needs to get out. She needs to experience more of the world. She needs to meet more people. She needs to be exposed to more ideas. Well, the reality is it's liberals are the ones that are living the sheltered existence, and that's what Kirsten Powers is admitting here. Now, Rob, if we can, if we can grab another segment here, uh, let's shift gears just a 